Hello and welcome to FM Blog, the original Football Manager YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at Jurgen Klopp's 4-3-3. So it's a gig and pressing tactic. It's Jurgen Klopp's 4-3-3. We all know it. It's over on FM blog, so if you want to download this tactic, head on over to the website. It's all on there. All the details, player roles and everything is on there for you. All the results that the, the guy has had when he tested this tactic is all down there. Very, very good results. And um, like I say, you just click the button here, bang, and then download it into your game. So we'll go over to our game now. We'll load the tactic in, very much easy as that click 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 and there it is there's your tactic so we're just going to dive in we're going to have a little swim around we're going to look in the little nooks and crannies we're going to see what we can find see if we like it <clears throat> okay so before we start again don't forget to like the video subscribe if you are new head on over to patreon if you really want to support the channel and also download our guide to fm it's for beginners and it's for newbies beginners and newbies and intermediates as well okay so this is the team, Alisson, Robertson left back, Van Dijk and Gomez at centre back, Trent at right back, Fabinho, Henderson and Wijnaldum in the middle. Is Wijnaldum right or left footed? That's the question, is he right footed? Mane is left footed, sorry, Salah is left footed playing on the right, Mane is right footed playing on the left, inside forward, inside forward, both attacking, Firmino there as a deep lying forward. Now, let's get stuck in, let's have a little look at this three. So, Allison here as a sweeper keeper supporting. He's down for take more risks. Supporting, okay? So yeah, we like that. Trent here gets further forward. Crosses more often as well. Gomez and Van Dijk, Van Dijk both ball playing centre backs. So they're both going to take more risks for you at the back. We know Liverpool like to do that. Robertson then at left back. Again, crosses the ball more and gets further forward. It's interesting these guys on full back attack and not complete wing back attack. So that might affect their uh, their behaviours a little bit. Fabinho then is a deep lion playmaker. If we have a little look at Fabinho's stats, he's got tackling, passing, vision as well, just about. So definitely good for that role. Shooting less often, dribbling less, and holding his. Position. So he's on a defensive role as well as these two here, and that's it. That's your only defensive role kind of people that you got in the system, which is fine. You can see it's an attacking mentality there. So you are going to go out and look to dominate games. Henderson in the middle, then. We know Hendo's had a blinder of a season, IRL, or in real life. And Wijnaldum then, is this position kind of, as far as personnel is concerned, is a little bit interchangeable, to be honest with you. And really, probably where Liverpool could do with strengthening this talk of Klopp, maybe moving Firmino back into that position and buying an out-and-out -out striker. Salah then, obviously an inside forward on the left. Having a look at his stats here, obviously he's very good at finishing and he's very, very fast as well. Along with all the other attributes you need, and Mane as well is insane. So these two are going to rip it up on the wings, especially cutting inside. And Firmino then, in theory, will be a deep liar coming back, linking the play. There is uh, a role called a false nine, which you could consider, I guess, having Roberto Firmino in that role because that's what I would describe him as in real life. But that does only offer you the support um, role the support player instruction, I can't remember what they're called. Whereas in this tactic, we've gone for the attacking mentality. So if we count the numbers then, because it's, it's quite a crucial thing, how many numbers have you got in terms of mentality? You've got three attacking and two attacking. So that's five attacking. God, I didn't know I was good at maths. Three defending and two supporting. If we add the goalkeeper, that's three supporting. So it's a very attacking tactic. You've got five attackers, two and a half, I count the goalkeeper as a half, two and a half supporters, and three defenders. You can see all areas of the pitch are 
green, which is good. We've got no concerns apart from in behind the fullbacks here. So this is currently nobody directly, there is currently nobody directly responsible for this area of the pitch. So that's the area you could get here is in behind the fullbacks, but we know that that's if your fullbacks are going to be bombing on, you know they're going to you're going to struggle in behind. That's why it's important that in possession you do well with the ball. Okay, so talking about the team mentality then. So the team mentality itself is attacking. Okay, so you're going to go into games expecting to dominate. Now, Liverpool have a very strong squad, so there's no reason why you shouldn't use the attacking mentality. Uh, standard attacking width, which makes sense. Um, quite compact in terms of getting after teams. Playing out of defence, of course Liverpool play out of defence. Um, you can think back of times when they didn't quite have the personnel to do that in terms of goalkeepers and centre-backs, but Jurgen Klopp still tried to do it or wanted to do it and... He's not the only manager who does that. The pass into space then, uh, which is very much a, a feature of the Gagan Press. Extremely high tempo and a slightly more direct style, which is definitely in keeping, I think, with the, with the Liverpool kind of philosophy in real life. In transition then, of course, you've got the counter press and of course, you've got the counter attack when possession has been won. We've got distribute to centre backs. Again, we're playing out from the back. It's Liverpool. They Roll it. Does he roll it out to, to the defenders? I can't quite remember. Or take the well, he certainly doesn't take long kicks, so that's crossed off. But we haven't selected an individual thing for his actual distribution type here. Um, so it's not nailed down, but it is distributed to centre backs, very short, kind of no clicking it long. Out of possession, then defensive width is standard, so it's not as narrow as some maybe def more defensive teams. The attacking line is higher rather than much higher. But the line of engagement is very, very high. So we're not so compact and we're not too high um, because we know those fullbacks will be bombing on. We don't want to leave too much space in behind there. So that's good. And the pressing intensity is obviously extremely urgent. That's why we call it the Gagan press. So have a little go. Tell us what you think. Like I say, all the details are over on the website here. Uh, in terms of how we perform when we tested the tactics, some really big wins here, some pros, some cons, and uh, yeah, just let us know if you have luck with this tactic, and um, thank you very much for watching, we'll see you next time, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, head on over to Patreon, head on over to the website, and download our guide to FM, see you next time.